<laughs> Sorry. This terrain is treacherous. <laughs> hey doll friends, it's Justin and Kanata. We're doing the photo shoot today. I'm um, really excited to get into it. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about a lot of different things like angles, thinking about your shots, as well as just showing you like how I pick out locations for things. Um, I've got Kanata already set up in her outfit and with her pose ready to go for the first shot. So the theme for this one is going to be more like military or action oriented where Kanata is set up to look like a sniper. Um, so we've got a couple of props that we'll show off in the photos too. Let's go to our first location. So this is kind of an awkward position for Kanata because as unrealistic as they are, their backs won't break as much as you want them to. So she's going to be lying prone, looking up. She's going to have a rifle. She's got a pretty good position already. It's always good to position them if it's going to be tricky before you get to a location because you don't want to get to a location like this that's out in the boons and then try to maneuver them. It just gets frustrating and you might end up scraping your doll. So just position them beforehand. And again, be careful with them because you don't want to break their backs or their necks, but this is probably the most tricky position that I've put her in so far. So here we got our, our first prop, this large sniper rifle gun. We'll get her set up with it. Probably two in there, but we'll get some pictures anyway. I'm gonna see if I can find something to prop this up just a little bit more so it's a little bit more realistic really quick. So I'm gonna check her position. I think it's mostly good. It's gonna be really difficult to actually get her eye to line up with the scope and everything look, you know, exactly how it would realistically. So we're gonna get it as close as we can. I think her position is pretty good. Normally you'd want that cover on you, but I'm gonna pat it down just so that she's a little bit more um, obvious in the photo. There's a lot going on here, so you wanna make sure that she's the, still the focus. So another thing about taking your shots is, a lot of the time, initially you might just think, let's just like, let's just shoot it straight on. But that, not, that might not be the most interesting picture that you can take. Think about like the type of picture that you're trying to take. And so since we're doing a more like action style photo here I'm thinking of like in movies when I see these types of like shots lined up in cinema what do they look like and I'm gonna try to emulate that as best as I can so I have it set up here so she's kind of you can see her feet at the very back and you can see the front of the rifle at the bottom left there I wanna make sure I get Oliver in the shot, um, but also, like I said, lining it up so it's kind of like in cinema. Um, that way it's not just straight on, but she fills the whole frame and it kind of just looks more interesting. That's fine. So I think we're good for this position. I have about two other ideas in mind. Um, so we're gonna swap her around and see if we can find something else. All right, so the next position that I kind of want to find for is we've got a, a much smaller handgun that she can use. And so I want to find a position where she can kind of be like up against the wall or like up against a tree or something like that, where she's kind of like sneaking or hiding from the enemy, that sort of thing, or infiltrating. So let's go look around. So I'm going to try putting her on a couple different trees. I'm going to try this one first because there's nothing immediately right behind her and the tree. That way, if I'm using a larger aperture, right, I can create greater distance between her and the things in the background. Um, and because these things are even further away, they're gonna be even more blurred out, which will give us that like clear focus on just her. So let's try that first. I'll show you a close-up of her position here, just up along the tree. 
her pose is a little bit stylized. I think if you were actually trying to sneak around, you probably wouldn't pose like this. But again, we're thinking of like action movies and stuff, right? So there we go. And now we're just gonna take some photos. So I do like this position and I like the look of the shot, but one thing that I don't really like is the fact that the sky, which is so overcast, is super bright behind her. And it kind of takes away since it's so distracting. So I'm gonna do something that I always do and just kind of like play around with angles, right? Look from below, look from above and see if I can't find something that looks a lot better than just taking it straight on. And their faces can look really weird from below. So I'm actually gonna tilt her head down a little bit to like help out with the below shot. I'll do the same thing but from top down and because I messed around with the angle I find that I like this one way better so I'm probably gonna take a lot more of these straighten her leg out a little bit all right I think we're good for this position so let's see if we can find one more thing that sort of fits with our theme um, to add some variation and then we'll go so one of the unfortunate things about using really heavy props, and this one's actually made out of metal, is that it's too heavy for her joints to support it. So instead of the idea where she was just gonna kind of be going like this, we're gonna find something else that she can do really quick, and then we'll call it good. Where did I do it? Oh, right here. All right, after much trouble, we finally got a position that we can take a photo of, um, but I need to get in front of it and see if it actually looks good. So I think, it, I think it actually works and it's pretty cute. So we'll take a couple of these with her uh, modeling with her favorite toy and then we'll go. Woo! Sorry. This terrain is treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been wanting to do this photo shoot for a really long time as I've kind of mentioned in my like stories and other videos. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being patient and coming along for this one. Um, there's going to be more videos soon, but uh, I hope you like the pictures that we took today. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to post them and I'll get back to you. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the videos and me and Kanata will see you again soon.